hello guys welcome to gusto reactions today thank you so much for all this like uh, sharing subscribing big lala is right here also saying thank you so much for everything that you do for us before we start this video one like uh, i want to tell you to please like you know this video please subscribe to this channel if you are not already a subscriber and call all your friends and families and your enemies so come and subscribe please yeah each person each of you should get at least five subscribers it will go a long way you know in boosting you know our growth and we really really appreciate for everything i have done so far the video is up in the building and a bit just a bit of whiskey a sprinkle of whiskey here and there the video as an artist started his um career right from uh atlanta mm -hmm. you know, was saying that he, oh, he was producing and everything blah blah mm. and he had to move back to nigeria say ah Omo, i hear that they are making money in that country and everything yeah. let me come <laughs> and do my thing he said he had to leave you know um is uh the house mm -hmm. he told his dad i think he had an issue with his dad yes, at that no. time because school fees money, school fees money. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't go to school he didn't go to school Lala, mm -hmm. if this guy's career had not turned out this way mm -hmm. would he have been in trouble with his dad he was he was in trouble now you know after the first i mean the first attempt at music mm -hmm. that he, nothing really, it didn't work yeah they, they had to drag him back to school now. <laughs> he said they had to drag him back to school and then he was in uh, was it Bangkok? that mm -hmm. after he dropped that and then somebody called him that Omo, let's say your song don't enter and he was he heard the song that he don't blow that's when mm -hmm. he now he, he Omo, left he left school that night like for real <laughs> so, yeah. for real so uh, i don't know i mean mm -hmm. the parents would have just been disappointed david was always take it like that. of course david was always passionate about music and that made him of course you know came to nigeria he said uh, he saw the band and then jazzy as you know jesus at that time this guy has seen it all mm -hmm. he's done that his first single back when with net to see was uh really really a massive banger at that time mm -hmm. and um ever since david has made nigeria you know like a mainstay for him traveling across the world and everything mm -hmm. but he's done his thing in niger for a long time another person that's done his thing in niger is whiskey whiskey also did a whole lot when it comes to you know that one not even to say one day one us now so really there mm -hmm. nine day from there to gudu you know stay with the banky and everything and of course after that he's all blown up mm. whiskey right now has moved base to ghana and a lot of people are getting to see or getting to think that the effect of whiskey's you know international status of you know of recent and everything mm -hmm. is because it's in ghana how true is that mm, i don't i don't think it's all because <coughs> it's in ghana i think it's just been a shift in his mindset shift in what he feels is important i mean there's been less drama about him mm. if you notice for quite a while mm. and it's been it's been focused and that's that's the most important thing for him he's been focused on the goal and on the music and mm. you can see the result of what of the focus that he has in him so you would say ghana actually shipped you know a bit of the well before he was in ghana i think he was in the uk as well mm. i mean he was i mean you know how well he has worked for me in Lagos, how yeah. he has been doing his thing so i think it, it's Maybe you can say leaving Nigeria. I don't want to credit our uh, Ghanaian brothers and say it's because it's there. They will be in the comments. Say. Like, no, 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 no. It's not because it's in Ghana. It's not because it's in Ghana. So, yeah. Anyways, whiskey, of course, shortly between the UK and Ghana has been able to do a whole lot. Mm -hmm. David O, uh, recent we discussed about the fact that David O's recent collaborations have not been, you know, uh, that you know, the music also has uh, maybe dipped. You know, mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a you know a beat mm -hmm. from the what we have a better time album expected to swallow other albums but maybe really did not did you it. know he did not no. yeah so um a lot of people have been for talking about davido's music you know having even a comment on our youtube you know saying davido we need to reevaluate you know everything and try to see how he can get himself back up and be up there because that is what his talent is. I mean, there seems to be a lot of music around the video, yeah. but not much quality mm -hmm. around those, you know, songs and everything. Mm -hmm. And me, myself, let me bring up this thing. That, okay, so if they're saying all of these things, does it mean that the video should consider playing, you know, from Whiskey's book mm -hmm. and doing a relocation himself to get his mojo back? well um i think you need to need to do more than that first like you mentioned there needs to be a, a change of mindset mm. he has to be intentional with the kind of music that mm. he wants to put out he has to be 
I think Scars as well. I think right now is is a bit everywhere. Everywhere. He's on every song. Scars work for whiskey. Yes, Scars works for whiskey. Look at the guy in Nigeria now. Scars commodity and people want mm-hmm. to. Everybody's just rushing him, right? He wasn't readily available for everything, but mm-hmm. he was working behind closed doors. I think pandemic helped a lot of them as well. It also helped him because he also worked on his album yeah. uh, uh, during the pandemic. But I think David needs to, I mean, he's tried this before, tried to say he was leaving social media to concentrate on something. Came back with fame. Came back with fame. And did that work? Work. Exactly. Yeah, so work. if he wants to work on his next project or his next album, I think he just needs to be evaluated, like you said, what's important to him. Uh, on that last album, A Better Time, they got a lot of things wrong, even leading to the album. They got the sort of interviews they were doing, uh, what they were talking about before the album dropped. They were just all over the place. They didn't look like they planned stuff. So on his next song or on his next project, he needs to reevaluate one, two, choose what's important. Do you want to be everywhere? Do you want to be pure water to everything? Or you just want to be scarce commodity that when once in a while when people come uh, exclusive, like that's a good word. To, to to so that when people come and say oh, be like no, 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 no. I'm keeping myself for this and this mm-hmm. and this so by the time they listen to something new from you everybody's hyped up and ready to listen to you um, should you relocate I don't think that's the um, solution to whatever problem there may be if he if he decides to relocate 30 BJ have to come through the way FC comes through you know which he doesn't even have to do anything to publicize himself mm-hmm. anything he does is even privately, it's been publicized. Even if he doesn't do it, it's been publicized by FC. Everything that has to do with publicity of Davido comes from Davido. You know why? Because if he tweets something, that's his own. That's working in his favor. Mm-hmm. If he tweets something controversial, that's his own publicity. If he tweets something against the government, that's his own publicity. He's not. It's it's the sort of publicity that comes from him. It's not from the Tati BG crew. They don't. They try to do as much as FC, but FC are just another breed. So Italian. yeah, so if if he wants to be exclusive, he can be exclusive in Nigeria. Mm, it, it's going to be hard because the guy is always everywhere. Exactly, you that's see him why, everywhere. That's why. That's why I'm thinking. Does it? Does it need to? Because can David be in Nigeria and not be everywhere? Can he? Impossible. Exactly. Impossible. Exactly. Yeah. So he might probably need to go to you know so even in the US. Okay. Can he be exclusive? No, if he's in the US, you it, it will still be everywhere. No. Because yeah, I mean, if he goes, for example, goes says he goes going to Atlanta or something, that's like where he grew up now. So mm-hmm. he knows a lot of people over there. there yeah. He'll still be hooking, hooking around, with, uh, hooking up with people all around. So does it mean that he has to be intentional <laughs> about being exclusive? Yes, like he has. Where he yeah, finds himself? he has to be intentional. Even if it's not about the music, if about the music, definitely you have to be intentional. You have to say, oh my wait, I'm not even doing any features at the moment. Mm-hmm. I want to work on something quality mm-hmm. and I have to be intentional with the people I'm working okay, with. Yeah. yeah. You not just anybody. This is no disrespect to any other person. I mean I, of late he's actually done well on some of the features he's been on. Mm. But if those guys don't have the required star power and they're not pushing, they're not being smart with their promotions, it's not going to really help David. Yeah. So he needs to be intentional with with, his, with the songs he's jumping on. He needs to mm. be intentional with the kind of songs he puts out as well. Okay, final word what would you tell a David right now? Well, um, at the moment, I'm pretty sure he's not comfortable where he is. Um, he knows there's starting to be a gap between mm. him and the top two and, and the, the other and guys. The, and the other guys, yes. Yeah. Now, you shall be whether no, they're top don't two. talk to I beg, I beg, Teddy BG. He knows there's there's starting to be a gap mm. between him and those guys. Yeah. He needs. I'm I'm pretty sure he's he's already feeling motivated. That yes, Omar, these are the thing, These are the kind of things he like that make him better. So he just needs to come up with a different strategy. Mm-hmm. Uh, the previous one of anything goes, oh, she been a David. Anything, anything I do, with, mm-hmm. with, he needs to, oh, yeah. he needs, he needs to put a halt to that. And they need to be intentional with the planning. The same way Wiz was intentional with Major Lagos, Bona was intentional with two hours in two yeah. years. Yeah. So I, we need David to be intentional, not just because you shouldn't drop projects. I know I've seen this accusation in several places that he dropped ABT. Just because Wiz was going to drop, that's I mean I've seen that twice in two different places, and I don't know how true it is. But then if you now think about it, did he really need to drop ABT because he wanted to prove a point that 
I got an album that is big that's going to swallow album. <laughs> Did he really need to, need to do that? Nah. Exactly. If he had actually worked closely with, with his team and not watched that album, perhaps would have been doing seeing a better result so, for a better time than now. Okay, guys. Well, you heard from Big Lala, David O. Does he actually or should he, you know, uh, relocate for you know to attain that? Of course, that next level. Um, like we you know discussed right now, it seems to be like you know there's going to be you know a very big gap, or there is already a gap, you know, between himself and the other guys. And what exactly does David o, Obio, the fathers himself, need to do to get to um, that spot? All again, what do you think about David's recent feature? David's you know the music around him at the moment. Of course, congrats to him on the endorsements. They've been coming like water. Yeah, I mean, on, on the, that's that's a good thing on a good note yeah, because yeah. He seems to be getting everything now. You thought everything. that's what part of the things we were discussing on the previous topic mm. that he's just getting any, anything that comes his way, bro. Every that he's not even he's not even picking right now. The banking sector yeah. are getting him all over again, and this guy does not even know how to, you know, he doesn't. His door, the door is just open, and there's no shutting. For him. of course, congrats to David O getting the bag from left to right and center. But about the music, does David O need to relocate to get to that particular point? Cause that he wants to uh, be musical. I mean, he's 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 been there. He's done that. But we all know in terms of the gap right now between himself and the other guys, it seems to be like that gap. Put everything down below. Tell us what David o needs to do. Should he do like whiskey? Whiskey had to relocate, became a scarce commodity. Mm. Of course, came to Nigeria and everybody they grab him. Should David o do the same thing? Relocate, become a scarce commodity, and then when it comes to Nigeria, everybody they grab him. Put everything down below, and we'll reply to you. Peace.